What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. In today's video, we're going to be going over everything new we found out today with the brand new trailer as well as the brand new website for Pokemon Unite that opened and dropped a ton of new information on us about the game. So without no further ado, let's jump into it. First things first is the release date window for Pokemon Unite got announced. The long short of it is that it's going to be heading to Nintendo Switch first in July and then to mobile devices in September which it took everyone by surprise including me i thought we were going to be for sure getting the mobile version first but however we are getting the nintendo switch version first which is great considering i would prefer to play it on my nintendo switch with the buttons on the screen too as well it's going to look beautiful and be able to capture footage very easily versus trying to capture it on my phone i think this is a great idea it's going to have a nice smoother launch in my eyes anyway because again with the game being on a singular device, they don't have to adjust, you know, it being on iPhone and Android and this and that, different types of Android. They can just focus on the one device, which is the Nintendo Switch, get it smooth there, get it running and get everything, all the bells and whistles out the way. Which, from what I've heard from the beta, it's pretty good as far as how it runs on cell phones and on the Nintendo Switch. Also, it's launching in different languages, French, Italian, German, and Spanish later this year. I believe around launch and if you log in using your nintendo account or your pokemon trainer club account ogs knows what that is you'll be able to use your same game data on any device so if you're playing at home on the nintendo switch you can bring that same data your same save your same pokemon over to the mobile version when that launches again if you have a pokemon trainer club account or if you have a Nintendo account tied to the account that you're playing. So that's pretty cool. Again, with the game being on Nintendo Switch and also mobile, there's gonna be cross-platform play between the two devices once mobile actually launches in September. And we'll be able to battle against one another. So I think that's pretty cool. It's gonna increase the player base by tenfold again once it launches on mobile now jumping over to the pokemon roster page and oh my god when i seen this i was really really hyped because there is a lot of pokemon here there's a lot to go over as the different types of pokemon they have listed here they have an all battler attacker speedster all-rounder defender supporter so you could go in and see who is best fit for your play style or if you're building a team who you need on your team if you need defenders if you need speedsters if you need attackers i think this is pretty cool especially if you want to go in right now and see what where pokemon lay at and also see what pokemon might fit your play style if you used to play mobas already and i'm not going to be going into every pokemon's card but i want to show you guys what it looks like when you open up a pokemon card as you can see it says pikachu but then we also get that it's an attacker range up here. The difficulty of using Pikachu right here says novice. We get its stats. You see the offense and you see how much stars it has on the side of that. The endurance, the mobility, the scoring, and the support. Actually has a brief summary right here. It says Pikachu is a Pokemon that excites at attacking opponents from far away with electricity. Sometimes the attacks even leave opponents Pokemon's paralyzed. So let's go back into the Pokemon roster. I'm not going to go over everybody's, but let's just go over the available Pokemon that is going to be at the game during launch. Do note there are Pokemon that are leaked currently that aren't on this list. Of course, a couple of mythical Pokemon and stuff like that. If you don't want to be spoiled, don't worry. I won't be going over that in this video. I've went over it plenty of times in other videos about leaked information coming out from Pokemon Unite. But these are the confirmed Pokemon that is going to be available during launch. And also do note that if the Pokemon has a pre-evolution like Charizard does with Charmeleon and Charmander, I'm not going to be going over those, but they are also in the game. So we have Pikachu, we have Charizard, Snorlax, I'm probably going to say this wrong, but Crustle, Greninja, Eldegloss, Talaflame, Lucario, Venusaur, Mr. Mime, Slowbro, Abso, Machamp, Wigglytuff, Aloha Ninetales, Clamorant, Gengar, Gachamp and Cinderace. So that's pretty cool. We got 19 Pokemon at launch, which is not surprising that they're launching with 19, considering MOBAs nowadays have way over like 
uh, you know, some of them have close to like 30, 40 people as far as like heroes you can use. So I'm not surprised with the number that is launching inside of this Pokemon MOBA. They also launched a brand new Twitter account. You should go and follow them. Let me make sure I'm following here. With, with the promise of updating us on the game as far as new patches, new Pokemon and stuff like that. And as you can see here, they confirm Blastoise, Gualivar, and other Pokemon also can wait to join you on the island. They won't be battle ready at launch, so stay tuned for more details on when they will arrive following the release of Pokemon Unite on Nintendo Switch. So these are going to be DLC Pokemon that's going to be coming soon after the game has released. Again, Blastoise and God of War and then someone else with a question mark. I'm not going to go over who I speculate that question mark to be because again, it's going into spoiler territory because again a lot of these pokemon are already leaked from the data mine that went on from the closed beta so i would not be going over that what is cool is that as you can see right here pikachu has a dope outfit on because a lot of the pokemon are going to be customizable inside of the game and i'm pretty sure that's how they're going to monetize and try to make money which isn't bad because this looks pretty cool i'm i'm I don't know how much I would pay for that outfit, but I am skeptical nonetheless to see the pricing of some of these outfits and, you know, stuff inside of the game. So that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of Pokemon Unite. Are you going to be picking it up? Are you going to be playing? Are you going to be active inside of the game during the launch on Nintendo Switch? Do note, this is a free to start game. So it's going to be a lot of ways to jump in for free day one and participate and play. No word if Pokemon is going to be locked out or whatever the case may be. We're going to have to find out more details on what does exactly that free to play area gives us once the game launches on the Nintendo Switch in July. So let me know your thoughts about Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Unite in the comment section below. Like always guys, I answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend this so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys and see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one